I am a powerlifter at a elite level. Yeah, in um, 2020, I was diagnosed with kidney cancer, getting ready for a powerlifting meet. Um, uh, it was at a peak of my uh, sport, I guess, and kind of having that all ripped away, you know, it's devastating. So I've just been on a journey to build myself back up. I have now done four different competitions on four different platforms with four uh, podium finishes as well. Um, I, yeah, as you've mentioned earlier, I've just broken the Australian squat record. Um, it was at my exactly my two year mark um, post having cancer, and then Epic. two yeah, and then two weeks later, I competed in Highland Games. Had never ever done it before. Had one practice at <laughs> weight over the bar. So just a quick training session, practicing over a cricket fence and yeah, came in as the underdog and end up taking away the Australian record. Be your advice you could give for some people in the general population who are like thinking they need to smash out their, their two a day sessions, six days a week yep. to make progress. <laughs> Less is more. Yep. It's like the biggest thing is, um, um, I think I touched on this earlier, like I only train four days a week. Um, whereas, and you know, I've got a lot of clients who want to train six to seven days a week. You're not going to get as much out of that. Like take time for recovery. So like recovery isn't just your sleep, nutrition, hydration, all of that. Yeah. Recovery is having those extra days in between your training. Um, and yeah, and optimizing those things between them. Um, so like I... You're just going to get more out of your training, I guess. I think there's a big difference between like working out and training. Training, obviously, you're training for performance, whereas like workout, uh, I don't know. I think just people, move. Yeah, yeah, people have like a concept in their head: the harder the workout, the better, and like the more sore you. If you're not like crawling out of the gym, it's not it's not it a good count. enough workout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, whereas I like with my compound lift, especially in my off season. I'll only trained like 60, 70%. Yeah. Like I'll go hundred percent effort all the time, but like my compound lifts will only ever be like 60 to 70%. Yeah. So, and particularly at the beginning of a prep, um, like especially with powerlifting and strength in particular, I don't ever want to be training at the hundred percent is you don't necessarily get stronger there. Yeah. So you've always got to keep that little bit more in the tank. And that's where like training smarter is. So like you can come in, smash out a heavy workout, but in the long run, I will outwork you because of my longevity in the sport. I always try and compare myself from pre-cancer lily to post-cancer lily. And one thing that I didn't do pre-cancer was practice mindfulness. And whereas I feel like that's something that I do a lot now and particularly on my rest days, that's something I do. And it's not necessarily just sitting there and being mindful. It might be doing a different activity other than my sport and then practicing mindfulness during that sport. Now I'm trying to think, I don't want to think of just powerlifting. I'm more than powerlifting. It's not just my identity now, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I will try and do different activities outside of powerlifting. So after my cancer, I started playing golf, for example. And I bet you can hit that ball a fucking long way. I, I like, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. <laughs> it's, it's been a long journey to, yeah. yeah, it's so hard and frustrating. 